comes with a litter carrier person as well. I'm <laughs> associated with Petco. <laughs> Sponsor us, Petco. They don't give us shoes though. <laughs> they give us slocks. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today is Sunday and Sundays are pretty chill days so today I decided to put together Oliver's litter box so I looked into a litter box and I ran into this video and I'll insert the clip right now you have to make sure that the litter pine litter is kiln dry pine oil is toxic to cats and kittens they for kiln drying they have dried this in such extreme heat that it evaporates the pine oils out of the litter. This litter, if used with this system, will last one cat about six months. So now you will see why it's so economical. What happens is when the cat goes um, and urinates in the litter box, it turns to sawdust. That's why I use the breeze box. Because when they go pee on the litter in this breeze box, it has all these slats in it. And the sawdust goes down to the bottom box. After watching that video, I was like, oh my gosh, like a 40 pound bag lasting six months with that type of method. Like, hello, who wouldn't go for that? But I already have a litter box that I ordered that was not the cheapest. And I want to work around it. So I'm gonna DIY this litter box and we're gonna see how this turns out. So let's get right into the video. Everything is nice and clean and finished. I didn't answer um, where I got it from and all those details, but this is the bottom. It has this opening for the cat to come inside, and then this is the top. And on the top, it has this ventilation. It came with like that foam on top so that the odor can get trapped in it, the filter, and then you go ahead and replace that. But Oliver messed with it and he just ripped it to shreds, so we no longer have it. But the litter is outside, so I don't need it. So it pops on like that. Oliver is looking at a casual neighbor. And then this is what goes on top for decorations. I like the green. Um, you can play with it. It bends so you can uh, put it in a shape or form that you wish. And this is basically what it looks like set up. I actually ordered these on Amazon. These are three gallon pans. They're actually feeding pans for like large livestock. They do the trick. So this is what I originally had under. This was inside, let me show you. So this is the pan that my dad ended up um, creating for me that hole is gonna bug me because it's bigger than all the other ones but it's okay if you can see the bottoms are actually kind of sticking out which is why he tried to sand it and it created an even bigger hole so if you guys know of any tips or tricks on how i can sand this down um this isn't going to hurt the cat in any way because the cat is going to be on top and the top is so smooth um i'm running my hand through it and no cuts or anything so the top is safe so what i'm gonna do with this and honestly you could use anything maybe like a hairspray cap or a perfume cap or any type of cap which was what i originally intended on using because it's plastic and i could wash it anyway but my dad gave me these so i'm just gonna work with these i'm actually going to put these on the outer on the 
all the way at the edge just like that that's the idea that i'm going for with this litter box so moving on to the pine palette that i actually ended up buying was this i got it at peco and this is a 40 pound bag it is a hundred percent chemical free so these were passed through the hot heat to take out all the toxins found in the original pine pellets so this is what the pine pellets are looking like i'm gonna go ahead and transfer it in I just want to make sure I cover it completely. Um, some of you may be thinking like this is too much. I don't know, this is my first time so I'm gonna burn as I go. But that is completely covered. Do you like it? So this is what the litter is looking like now. It has the pine pellets. I thought this was gonna go higher to be honest and like you could see the pan but it's actually at literally level which is perfect and he'll be able to come in and out and this is just the finished litter box so I'll keep you guys updated and see how it goes. Oh. Don't mind my hair, it's crazy, you just showered. Okay, so it's currently day Three. Technically, I changed the litter on Sunday night and he went a full day Monday with the litter and then it is currently Tuesday noon. So I noticed that on Sunday night he was scratching in the litter all night pretty much and it wasn't that big of a concern to me because I was like, okay, he's getting used to it. He's probably like, what, like, what is this? Like, where's my litter? If I keep scratching, maybe my real litter is going to come out and, you know, I can do my thing. On Monday morning, I checked. He hadn't used the restroom. But when I lifted the pellets to check the pan under, because he was scratching so much on Sunday, so he was peeing in it, but he wasn't, but he wasn't number twoing in it. I could see the sawdust in the bottom and I was like, okay, like this works. Like the method works with having the two pans and everything. So I was okay, I just need to wait until he goes number two. Because I saw other videos of people mentioning how it takes a little bit for your cat to get used to the new litter and the whole transition. And some of them were saying to use the old litter and it even said in the bag to use the old litter and when they scratch like they can sense the litter they already used but you know mix it with the new pellets so they can feel the pellets sorry guess who hey <laughs> i'm giving the update on the video right now for the pellets oh i was like I was like, hello everybody, where is my girlfriend? You guys are taking my girlfriend, it's been a long time. I, I was showering. I like <laughs> woke up a little late, but I'll call you back. All right, bye baby. Um, like I was saying, um, people were saying to mix the litters and I was like, if I have to, I'm gonna go buy the old litter and mix it into this one if he's not using it. So that was Monday morning. Monday night, I get off work at midnight, so around 1 a.m. Um, when I was settled in and everything and I checked he hadn't used the restroom still he hadn't gone number two so but there was more sawdust so he's peeing in it he's peeing in it but he's not pooping in it he wasn't going bathroom but you know what's funny before because your cat is scratching in the litter he would smell like the litter and it had like you know fragrances like the glad and or Febreze whatever and now he smells like wood so you'll get occasional sniffs of of wood <laughs> it's so cute but you guys today tuesday morning i check outside and guess who finally went to the restroom <laughs> he's like mom you're embarrassing me talking about my poop mm. but he did he went to the restroom and finally i was really relieved because one, I didn't have to go to the store and buy the old litter um, to mix it in there. And I saw videos of people doing that and everybody saying like they didn't recommend 
that but if you really had to like to do it for you know the sake of your cat not have them as stressed with the whole transition <laughs> Second, because I'm so relieved that, you know, he's not constipated anymore, whatever was happening with him. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys if you wanna see, if you don't wanna see some cat do, you can end the video right here. This is it. I 100% recommend the pine pellets. Again, it is more affordable. 40 pounds from what I've heard everybody talking about is supposed to last one cat six months. I'll give you guys another update on that and see how long um, this new bag of 40 pounds has lasted me. But after watching many videos and watching a lot of people DIY different kinds of litters to adjust to this new pine system, I was like, hey, why not? So shout out to my dad for drilling those holes and spoiling Oliver. This was definitely successful. It took Oliver an evening, a whole day, and a half day. But since Sunday evening, he was peeing in it. But it took him a whole evening, a whole day, and a whole half day to go number two. So yeah, it worked out just great for my cat. Um, if you're attempting to try this or if you're currently doing it and your cat isn't adjusting well to it, every cat is different, um, give your cat some time. I would wait out on mixing the old litter with the pine pellets, but if you feel like you really have to then go for it um so yeah this is how i keep up with my indoor cat and i hope you guys enjoyed the video all right so if you want to go ahead and stick around to see the sawdust at the bottom and his little clumps at top and the whole method and how i'm going to clean it out right now go let's go into the cleaning you could see like his do right there and right there and i'm pretty sure once there's scratch in there more is going to be out looks like that was pretty much it um you can see like the sawdust right there um in the middle you see this this is what it looks like when the pea turns to the dust and Okay, so like you saw all, from all the moving around, the dust went down to the bottom, so you don't see that anymore. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, this is already a good experience by far. I'm going to show you guys the sawdust that went to the bottom and show you guys how that looks like. Now that's the sawdust that I'm talking about. He that turned to dust with a couple pellets, but it's fine. They're small chunks compared to these big chunky ones. Oliver is doing such a great job whenever he scratches. Um, he's literally putting all the sawdust down himself. So I don't really have to sift besides what you guys just saw right now. And this is just the beginning of him using this new method. So that's what it looks like. And it's definitely working 10 out of 10 so far. It doesn't smell at all, like at all. With the clump litter, I used to be able to, you know, get some scent. But um, with this one, I kid you not, it doesn't smell. It's, it's crazy. Like the poop didn't smell either, so it doesn't smell at all. I am even more stoked for this new litter. 10 10 recommend. I'm so glad I looked more into this. If you're a cat owner, like please go out and buy pine pellet litter. So, yeah, that's the end of this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and give it a big thumbs up, a subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos and I'll be reviewing more cat things. I'll go ahead and start like a little playlist for all of his things in general um, and just new finds that I think any cat owner should like or would appreciate um, having knowledge of. So yeah, um, off to work now, so have a good day. And this is the fit. I'm just kidding, okay bye.